Now, there's another, there's a fly up there called the nose box fly. And oh, I know the yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. when it when it in the cold, it takes refuge in the nose of a caribou and it even lays its eggs there. In the schnoz of a caribou. Yeah, because that it's it warm and moist now, in there. Hold on a second. Let's say that what's what's the caribou's name, Mom? Name, name the caribou. Uh let's call it Carrie the caribou. Carrie gets sick. Nose is just running. running. Nose. Yeah. <laughs> and come the eggs. <laughs> okay, no, hold on a second. No, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Carrie's just Sneezing like a fiend, spraying all over, uh, all over her trees. mates. Trees are covered. <laughs> it ain't no, icicles. There's no trees up there, Matt. The Arctic willows are covered. Other caribou are covered in snot. Yes. Okay. Eggs are ejected, <laughs> rapidly ejected out of Carrie's schnoz. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Is Carrie charged with murder? No. No. Why? Um, You're the judge on the case, Mom. Why is Carrie not charged with murder? It's uh, natural. It's just natural. She was sneezing. <laughs> all right, you want something? There was no Where? mens rea. There was no intention. Uh, so. <laughs> Rabbits in a group are called what? What's a group of bunnies called? A flock. A fluffle. I'm sorry, you said what? A fluffle. All right, who come? Who came up with that? I, I have know. no idea. Your mom, yeah. I think. No. But Matt, rabbits, we, we see a them all. A fluffle of the, rabbits. A yeah. fluffle of rabbits. Right. We see them all the time in our night walks and so forth. And you know what? We're going to pause right there. This is the growing season brought to you by growingseasoncanada.com. Fluffle with us. So prior to the break here, we were chatting about the upcoming sequel to My Little Ponies called Bunny Fluffles. Yeah. Or Fluffle Bunnies. And so a fluffle is just, it's a thug. It's a gang of rabbits. Yo! want to be part of my fluffle homie <laughs> you're like yeah let's go out and get some carrots that's a mighty big carrot you have there right they are growing pine trees in a mine shaft this is a mine shaft that's been played out the nickel is everything's been mined out so they plant trees there now obviously they do need light they have led lighting but temperature is constant humidity is great so they have these little pine trees growing in there over the winter. If you were the entrepreneurial sort, Uh-oh. here's what you would do. You would buy yourself up a little bit of land in and amongst the area that they are reforesting up in Sudbury. Mm-hmm. And you would open yourself a small restaurant. It serves breakfast all day, but it really focuses on pork. You would call that restaurant, wait for it, <laughs> Pine and Swine. <laughs> <laughs> now there's an idea, right? Or the or the or, or the to restaurant. Do in my retirement. <laughs> the restaurant. Front now we don't here. serve beef here. Have you seen the name of the restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> Come on down to Sudbury's very own Pine and Swine, nestled firmly between the ugliest conifers you've ever seen. Pork, pork, pork for your fork. Mm-mm. Ain't no pigs doing a jig in a 14 square kilometer radius. Pine and swine serving breakfast seven days a week. You can dine until your pores leak. See your full menu at www.pineswine.com. 